go to. So we're gonna use DIY gel. Remember, leave a little bit of space at the cuticle area so that way you can blend her out. Press down firmly. Hold and release. You got any gel that ran. Go ahead and wipe. And as you can see, DIY gel, she don't go anywhere. She stays in place. Like a good bottom chick. So technically you don't really have to freeze cure with uh, DIY gel. But I get a question that um, a question that I get asked a lot is do I have to apply a base gel or do I have to apply press on gel on the nail prior to applying um, DIY gel? And the answer is yes. With press on gel, because press on gel is more of a it has adhesion properties to it, you can um, use that straight as a base gel or a natural nail builder overlay overlay but DIY gel I strongly suggest you apply a base coat or you apply um, press on gel I always recommend press on gel um, in clear or in pink prior to the application of your one two three go nail always 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 press on gel and we have pink press on gel, which is my favorite too. I love pink press on gel. That's what I wear on my nails all the time is pink press on gel. People always ask, Max, what do you have on your nails? And it is Miss Pink Press on Gel. But since I change my left hand almost every day when I do my live stream, I use our peel off base coat on my nails. There we go, she's done already. Good. So I'm taking a 150. And I'm going to make sure the sides are nice and skinny mini. And I'm not going to do anything too, too sharp or too, too crazy. Just something nice and soft for the girls. And we're going to go in first with a diamond prep. And begin the blending. And then we're going to go in with Miss Diamond Manny and really, really blend her out. If I can find my Diamond Manny. I'm always losing everything. Where did Gloria put it? Great. Really take your time and go in and blend, blend, blend. Oh my gosh, I can't get over. She's like, I call my sister mommy dearest. That is everything. So now I'm going in with my purple buffer, removing the shine off the entire nail. smooth side around the cuticle and then upside down and all around I like to bevel out the C curve and the sidewall so that way when I look at the nail it's nice and even and straight so the three colors that I'm wearing it's kind of hard to see because of the design on top but on the middle finger I have a teal which is BB ombre 63 And then I have on my ring finger, I have this really pretty gold, like a rose gold white color, which is 64. And then this really pretty like mauve nude, 
which is BB Ombre 72. And this is a color we'll do on my thumb today. Color so beautiful. We're gonna bake it for 30 seconds because I am going to do two coats of it. I use all the time on clients and still amazed how beautiful. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. It's a Mao Vu LOL. Gosh, I missed that one flew over my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> what does BB stand for? Beauty bomb. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. BB stand is the kind of like a play on makeup, if you will, like the BB BB creams and CC creams. God bless you. Thank you. That's where the name BB came from. And also BB because it's like cute and easy to say in other languages too. Because uh, inocouture.com products are sold in many countries all over the universe, so we have to name things um, that are easy to say in other languages. This color. And we're gonna bake this color for one minute. It's pronounced Mao, Mo, as in lawn Mo, and V, Mav. Huh? Gosh. I'm having a blonde moment. <laughs> Somebody asked on my Instagram video. Why do we not apply stickers all the way to the edge? And there's many reasons for that. One, we want to avoid peeling at all costs. Two, we want to keep the nail skinny at all costs. So if you put a sticker all the way to the edge, it's harder for the shiny gel or wonder gel to go around that sticker and seal it in really well. That's why I always trim the edges. Make sure that the sticker and all this uh, design work is more centered in the nail. Also, if you apply a sticker all the way to the side, it's gonna make the nail fat. And we want her skinny. We want the nail to have spanks on. So I'm gonna remove the oxygen inhibition layer, AKA the sticky layer of the nail with hand sanitizer. So that way I can apply the sticker directly on top. That's why I cure the color for at least one minute to make sure everything is nice and dry. Give it a few seconds to air out. So we're going to use butterflies and birds Spanx I love it me too man Spanx The great thing is, you too, you can layer up the stickers as well, too. Like I ordered all the stickers, Max. I gotta snatch them up before they are gone. And then always go in and press, press, press. Firmly. Make sure we don't got any air in between the sticker and the nail. And you can see 
Oops. I always leave the space in between. Let's apply a little blue bird. Cut up its tail. So hard to choose because they're all so lovely. Let's do a blue one. Should we do another flower? <laughs> what do you guys think? Away. And you can use all the stickers in synergy with each other as well too. Like if you want to use the regular flatter ones, you can. If you want to mix in some 3D ones, you most definitely can as well too. So now before I apply my rhinestone work, I'm actually going to do one coat of shiny over the nail. Because remember you guys, two coats of shiny. First coat super thin and really work it in. Look at that, serving the realness. The little bird is nice. Yay, Heather! She's sending kisses. So let's make that 30 seconds and then we're gonna get our gummy and apply the rhinestones and the glitter. Of course, Mish. Prisma is the glitter that I always go to. She is the bottom chick. 
Glory, instead of moving everything, she just clean it. Like my gummy jar. Like it's so sticky. Like, I'm gonna tell her that Wednesday. Tomorrow's your day, huh? Thank God. So nothing tomorrow will be missing. Oh, my mom's watching. So now we're gonna do our layer of shiny on top of the gummy. Rhinestones are stuck together, I can flip them over. Ready? Got my Sailor Magic Liner. Very simple, very discreet. What do you guys think? We want the sign, want the sign. And one more small one right here. simple. And now we're going to bake her for a minute. What do you guys think? Are you guys living for the sticker line? Ugh. It really has changed the game. Even our original sticker line that we launched uh, years ago that we just continued was so much fun but it never really took off like it did now. And the sticker line now is just really like on fire. I'm so surprised and I'm so glad that we have more coming in round two very, very soon. I think round two is gonna be launched around the same time that we will be launching the 5XL stiletto, 
which is we're looking at around the end of April, early May. So hopefully before Cinco de Mayo. Drinko de Mayo. Stripper nail realness. That's right, daytime stripper on Taco Tuesday. Or what's Monday? What kind of food do they serve on the strip clubs on Monday? Hamburgers? Guys in tight. Beautiful. Now she's nice and dry. Gonna get a clean Lux brush wipe. And a dust of lint. Always something new at Eno Couture, that's right. Margarita Monday! Margarita Monday at the strip club. Just beautiful. Hola Max, hello! So we're gonna make sure those cuticles are nice and hydrated on Margarita Mondays. That's gonna be my new thing now. Margarita Mondays. You ready for Margarita Monday, Lena? Why? Do you like margaritas? Really? Jeez, Lena, I didn't. Oh, yeah, you do like to drink, don't you? Socially. I'm a prude. I don't drink at all, you guys. I'm so boring. I'm the most boring person ever. Look at that. Let's get a little hard light. She's like, I can drink for you, please do. Enjoy life for me. Because all I do is work. Who needs booze when you got Gucci and nails? That's right. And Machi. He didn't want to sleep in his bo uh, little shoebox yesterday, so he came crying to my room so I had to pick him up. Those are my favorite, she said. She's like, I can fall on my own. Oh my gosh. Do you guys love it? For Margarita Mondays. And when you guys take pictures, a little thing always is, don't do this with the hands because it looks really tense. You want the hands to look relaxed. You want the, the pose. Relax the phalanges so that way they photograph as beautifully as possible. Just like that. So that way the hands don't have any wrinkles. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little demo on our 3D sticker line. Stay tuned for more. And don't forget to visit enocouture.com. For the best nail products in the universe. Proudly made in America. Stay safe you guys. And I will see you in the next one. I'm learning the hand poses. Yeah and like uh, homegirl said. Not too much oil. It looks like we were eating fried chicken. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.